Hello everybody. I'm trying something new today. Um, for some reason, the thing I've been using to post live onto Facebook is not working well. And I'm, I'm in my, in my studio and the light is really bright. So I'm kind of faded out. I'm not sick. I promise. It's, it's just that it's really bright in here and I don't have a curtain over that and then I would be too dark. So it's just one of those things. I got lots to talk to you about right now. Um, I've been busy, busy, busy. Um, my son and his wife are going to come over and the, and my two grandchildren, Sarah and Ethan, they're going to come over on the 18th. And we're going to have Christmas here, but we're going to do something weird for Christmas that we've never done before. And we're going to do a fondue night. Sounds, it's, it, we haven't done that. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been uh, scouring eBay for fondue sets that we can do a cheese fondue and a oil fondue and a uh, chocolate fondue let's see and robert justin told me one yesterday that is a a broth and wine fondue so we're going to do four different kinds of fondue and we're going to do shrimp and chicken and little slices of beef and veggies and i have this thing about um i have this thing about chicken I don't want chicken to touch anything. So today I've been trying to find a lazy Susan and Robert's going to make me a lazy Susan. He's been, oh, he's been so, ha so good this holiday season. He's been, um, building me stuff. He, next week I'll show you around the house and show you all, all our decorations and the different things we've done. And you know, all the, everything's all set up. It's just, we've been tweaking it, tweaking it. He's been working on this this crash for our nativity scene that I was going to send to Liz, but I don't know. It's, I may have to keep it. <laughs> so sorry, Liz, but I'll send her another one. Uh, but it's just, um, he's put a lot of work into it and put some faux finishes on it. It's just amazing what he's built. And I think I kind of need to keep it in the family. I know that's an Indian giver, but She'll, she'll love me anyway. Um, he showed it to me for the first time this morning and I just had a fit over it and I don't think he can build two of them. Uh, so we were having fun. He made me a star for the front porch out of Laurel, Mountain Laurel. And then he, um, we've got some candle holders that are made out of pieces of wood with little tea lights in them that he made. And we've just been having fun. Um, just having a lot of fun with, oh, I like the idea of bacon dipped in cheese fondue. That might be something we might try. Uh, but I got a big long list going. We've been printing out recipes for the fondue. I printed out two this morning. Uh, somebody's coming to the door, but I don't think I can answer the door. It's probably the UPS truck. No, but yeah, it's UPS guy. He's walking down the path. Anyway, I got on my Christmas Christmas uh, denim shirt. Got it off of eBay too. I, I'm the eBay queen these days. And I got overwhelmed this morning with um, the mail person bought, brought a big basket full of little boxes. So... I've just been setting my timer every 15 minutes and opening up one of those boxes. And it's, it's little things for my grandchildren that, um, to little ornaments that they went to, they went on their first um, mission this year to Peru. And so it's little things to, um, commemorate their, their first mission trip. And Ethan got his first deer at the deer hunt two weeks ago and he was real happy to get his first buck and so I, I got some little things and I'm gonna put a picture of him with his buck it's a big thing for a southern boy to kill his first deer so 
we're going to ha- have fun with that. And they're going to come over here and we're going to fondue like crazy. And I'm excited about it because it's something different. Robert said, I'll do the cheese fondue. So I'm putting him in charge of that. He's already bought all the cheese and everything. So uh, I'm doing the other ones. And I got this huge bag of chips in. Uh, chocolate chips that that are like 60% uh, really dark chocolate. So we're going to have fun. And that's what the holidays are all about is a, just having fun. And the, the tree is all decorated and I've, I've posted a picture of our, of our nativity scene. Well, I finally got baby Jesus in and It's looking really pretty and I surrounded it with lights. So next week I'll show it all to you. I get all all, all the lights on and walk you around the house and show you all our decorations. But it's the earliest we ever put up our tree. Ever. I mean ever. And I, I got injured putting up the tree. I got all skin up on my arm. Robert looked at me at dinner the other night and I had, we went to dinner two times in the month of November. That is unheard of for us because I can cook, but I don't cook often. And it's, Robert says it's better to have a wife who can cook that doesn't cook often than one that can't cook and cooks all the time. Well, for the month of November, I cooked every day, every day, except for his birthday. And we went to dinner with Rebecca and Tanner. And then, um, for our anniversary on the 30th and we went to dinner. So I, I succeeded in doing everything, you know, planning out all the meals and just having a good time with saving money. But I don't think I saved any money because I, we have a system here that whatever we use out of our pantry, we replace and it goes on the grocery list as soon as I take it out of the freezer or the pantry so that we have a backup so that we've always got two on hand and we're excited now let me talk a little bit about all the fires in california that is so sad just so sad people losing everything and and what i've noticed from the the reports on television is that people are going in and grabbing anything they can out of their houses they don't have a plan. If you live in a fire prone area like we do, and our house has caught on fire before. Um, it caught on fire when we got hit by lightning a few years ago. And it's a scary thing. I'm so thankful that Michelle was here because, and Robert had just retired. If Robert had not just retired just a few months before, our house would have probably burned down. Because he emptied a whole fire extinguisher on the part of the house that was on fire. Lightning hit a huge pine tree in our yard. And the the lightning bolt followed the roots to the fence. And then when it got to the fence, it followed the fence up to the house where it wasn't, a, the fence wasn't attached to the house, but it was this far from the house, and when it got to the end, it jumped to a nail that was underneath the house. And that nail, it came in on that nail and followed the the trunk line to our heating system and blew out our air conditioner heating system. Uh, we heard this huge noise I get up and, you know, it was a big clap of thunder and I get up and I, uh, Robert's in the basement and I said to him, are you okay? And he says, we have fire. So that was my, co- my code to call 911. I called 911 immediately and Michelle started getting the dogs out the door. I, and the house started filling up with smoke. And then I had to try to get the cats out and I have this little trick that I play with them. I never do it unless I got to get them out of the house. And I have a little, little Friskies container that's plastic and I shake it and it's got treats in it. 
and I took it to the door and I threw the treats outside and they went outside. So we got our critters out. They're all in the car. It's pouring down rain like you wouldn't believe. And Robert emptied the fire extinguisher, but the house was still full of smoke. So the house had to be vented. And the fire department comes and saves the day because they had to vent the house with, with all their fans and stuff. And then we had to get certified by an electrician. It was just... It was just... Uh, a tough situation, but we survived it because we had a plan. Robert, for for his um, for his retirement, he had need, he had wanted. Well, he got a camera, and as soon as he got the fire out, he started taking the things that he needed out to his car. And he would. Well, now we keep a car parked. We can get in our garage. Can you believe it? We have a car parked in our garage now, which has never happened until like five years ago. So we got, we used to keep the John Deere Gator parked in the garage. He, he took his stuff out to the car. I rolled my computer bag out to the car and just pulled my computer off of, off of its little stand, unplugged it all because I had backup plugs in my travel bag. And by golly, we got everything we needed out of the house. That was our plan. And if if we lost everything, then so be it. We'd rebuild right where we are and start over. But we had a plan to get the dogs out of the house. So me and Robert and the critters. Now, most of our pictures right now are backed up on Facebook. And they're fat backed up on the cloud. If you do not have, if you don't have access to a cloud to back your pictures up, then do it. I also have a hard drive that that's right beside my chair that I could grab. But I knew a lot of them were they were on my computer and they're backed up on the on the cloud. So I'm good that way. Having all that done, it it kept me from stressing out and being in total tears. So, you know, do this for yourself. It will, it will keep you at ease and you won't run the risk of running back into the house. Now, we have on our website um, an emergency preparedness list that helps you to take care of these things so that you know what you got to grab. You know, if you're going to be evacuated from the house, you got to have your medicines. You've got to have plenty of gas in the car. In fact, today, our, we're, we're expecting snow tomorrow. Yuck. I'm supposed to go to Laura's tomorrow night. And, and she lives up on top of the mountain, higher up than we are. And it's kind of tough. And she has a real steep driveway. So we've already set up plan B. If things don't work out for tomorrow night, then we're going to go on Sunday night. So we have plan B taken care of. Then, um, because, you know, we got enough food in the house for me to cook a whole month without having to go to the grocery store practically. So we're good. But if your house were to catch on fire while you're gone and you can't, you can't retrieve anything, then you have to have stuff backed up other places. And you can do this. You can do this. It's like $25 a year for, for stuff on the cloud. And it's going to help you. It's really going to help you. So get it done so that you don't have to stress out. Because people get evacuated for lots of reasons. It can be fire. It can be flood. It can be a train derailment. God forbid all those chemicals that get hauled across the country. Yeah, it can be for anything. And you just got to you just got to do it. Go through the list, have a go bag ready so that you can be evacuated at any time and and be at ease because that's the most stressful thing that happens when when you're being evacuated is you keep remembering things you're going to lose. And you don't need to you don't need to do that. 
it's just it's too difficult you you can have stuff where it automatically goes to the cloud all the time right now pictures when i make a picture on my phone oh i have to tell you a funny story oh this is a really funny story a while ago uh, you know i'm unwrapping these boxes and getting things sorted out because i'm going to start doing some i don't have a lot of presents to wrap but I still have some little things that have to be wrapped that are just coming in. So I heard something drop and I'm using a pair of scissors and my favorite letter opener to open up these boxes. And my letter opener fell off my table and it went into a black hole. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I've torn, that's, that's why I'm not taking you into the living room today because I have torn up right beside my chair. I have this box that I covered in purple duct tape that's just the things I've got to have, the things to clean my eyeglasses and just lots of little things that I need handy that I don't want sitting on a hot spot because I would knock them off. Now, I can't find this thing. So I'd take my camera a while ago and look underneath the chair. And Robert had already done this with the flashlight, but you know, I got to check after him. I still can't find my favorite letter opener. I'm going to have to pull out all the furniture and, and figure out where it went. I, I don't know if it dropped down in the vent that's behind, behind my table. I, I don't know where it went. We, we just looked everywhere. So that's a little frustrating. It, it's just a little frustrating not to be able to find my favorite letter opener when I know it hit the floor. So it's rolled someplace. Now, let's see, what else have we doing? We've got the, oh, yesterday I got to sew. Uh, I, 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 you know, sewing has been something I've been doing since I was seven years old. My grandmother, taught me how to sew when I was seven. And the first thing we made was a pair of flannel pajama bottoms. And I'll never forget it. Just, she laid everything out on the kitchen table and she didn't use pins for the pattern. She used knives. She laid everything out and she took knives out of the drawer and she put those knives out on the pattern and she cut around the pattern. And then she taught me how to make flat felded seams. Now, for those of you who don't know what flat felded seams are, look on your blue jeans. And your blue jeans have flat felded seams on the sides. She taught me how to make flat felded seams. And it's just, every time I make one, it makes me happy. And every time I wash my hands, I smell um, the same smell that she always had on her hands because she used uh, a lotion that just brings back a flood of memories to me. And so I think of my grandmother. So yes, day before yesterday, my daughter-in-law called me and she said, I need to FaceTime with you. And I said, okay. So she puts on this, she's giving a party tomorrow night for 40 people and she's real excited and she she has this beautiful dress that is cotton lace and it's navy blue and my daughter-in-law is this big around she's she's um, petite and she wears an extra small but this dress swallowed her whole but she loved the dress and so I said, okay, I need you to try it on. And then I want, I want you to, you know, show me where it's too big for you. So she modeled it for me. My daughter, my granddaughter was helping her and we took some measurements and then they brought the dress to me. Justin brought the dress to me because they're real busy schooling, homeschooling. And yesterday I got to sew and take the dress up a little bit and hem it up for her because she's, she's tiny and the dress came down below her knees so I had to raise the hem up and the dress was lined so I had to hem the lining and I had to hem the lace 
and then I had to iron it all and I, I was so happy to get to do that for her. She never asked me to do anything and I was just excited to be able, because I had time to fix the dress for her. It took me about an hour to do the alterations and then it took me another hour to do the, I didn't want to do the hemming with my sewing machine because I don't like the way the stitches are on my sewing machine for an outside hem. So I hand stitched the hem and it really looks pretty. And she's got these cute little boots she's gonna wear with it and she would look like a million bucks. But she's working real hard on this party and having fun with it. And we, I, I got tickled at her. I said, well, we need to get together before all the family gets here from Tennessee because her mother and dad and Justin's dad all come up and sister, Justin's uh, sister-in-law come up from, from the Memphis area, West Tennessee, and they do all the Christmas stuff, but we usually do something beforehand. And she says, okay, Monday the 18th, if I put it on the calendar, it's going to happen. So <laughs> she puts it on the calendar Monday the 18th, and we're good to go. I like that she lives by her calendar. She's got it posted right as you go out the the garage door. I've learned a lot of things from Emily. She's um she was a school teacher, a public school teacher. She taught kindergarten and first grade. And she has learned she has learned how to rotate the kids' toys. Not that Ethan has toys anymore. He just turned fifteen, so we still can't believe he just turned 15. But you know, life is good. And when you're not stressed out about Christmas, sometimes I get a little little stressed because a lot of packages come at one time because I've been busy doing getting creative with some stuff. But it's it's all fun. It's all fun and games and today I've been un unwrapping boxes and Robert's going to make me some cookies and we call them ginger sparkle cookies but you have to take crystallized ginger and it comes in big pieces so I've been cutting up a handful of it at a time and then I've just been rotating wrapping a present unwrapping a box and then doing the ginger and it's I've just been going round and round in circles all day long, 15 minutes at a time. And it's getting done. I got a big bowl of ginger cut up and he's going to make us ginger sparkle cookies. Oh, they're so good. They are so good. And I've been wanting to make some gingerbread cookies, but that hadn't happened yet. And he made a, a test pecan pie for our Christmas dinner with his family. And uh, we both agreed it didn't, it, it did not, um, it wasn't what we wanted. <laughs> so we tested a recipe first. So we're going to go back to the basics on just a plain pecan pie. And he promises not to put honey in it. So I can't eat honey. I'm allergic to honey. It makes me sick. So, I, and I don't know why. I have no clue because I used to put honey up in jars. I guess I got exposed to too much of it one time. But that's okay. I don't have to eat pecan pie. But I like it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have some fun. And I ju yesterday, Justin came up because Emily and I got on the phone together and she said, do you have this? And do you have this? And she needed serving dishes and she needed lots of stuff. And so Justin came up to the house yesterday. We filled his truck up with fun stuff for them to use. Even a heater. I asked Robert, we have this heater in the basement that you're just supposed to use outside. And I said, can Justin borrow that heater? And he says, only if he doesn't bring it back. So, <laughs> so we got rid of some stuff yesterday. It was fun. I had some wicker stuff that was for napkins and utensils and things. I had uh, a, plat a platter that you put chips and salsa in that was wicker. And we had a good time gathering up all this stuff 
for them to use for the party. Some of the stuff I need back, my favorite red dish and another little dish, but most of it they can just keep at their house. And it got rid of it at our house. It made room on the basement. Now, I told Liz something funny the other day. I got out our nativity scene, and I haven't used it in years, and I think I gave the baby Jesus away to some little child who wanted it. I would be like I would do. And I'm already thinking about how I'm going to store it. Now, it was in its original boxes, but they take up a world of room, and it's got all this styrofoam in it. So I've been collecting the the little... Uh, things you pop. You know what it is. The little bubble wrap that's been coming in on some stuff. And I've gathered up the bubble wrap and I got these snap-on little cases that you could put ornaments and stuff in. And and I got three extra ones that's just for the nativity scene. Just for the nativity scene. And I'm happy. I think it's going to sort it, it, they're going to store pretty well. I told Liz the other day, I said, it's, isn't it funny? I just got it out and I'm already thinking about how to put it away. But that's okay. It's all about getting organized and decluttering some of those shelves in the basement so that I can find things next year. And I decluttered a bunch of ornaments and I put just what I wanted on the tree. We added three strands of lights this year. And I had some weird lights that had some little toppers on it. And I took all those off because they didn't match what I was doing on the tree. And it's just been interesting to see my mind work on getting things set up for next year. But clearing out some stuff this year. And I got one more tree to put up. And it's going to be my bird feeding tree. But I'm going to wait till it snows to put the bird seed and stuff out. I got some oranges. I'm, I'm going to ream them out and, and put bird seed in and hang them up so that the birds and the raccoons and the critters can, squirrels can eat when the snow comes because they can't forage on the ground. But we're going to have some, have a lot of fun. I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, we got 25 more minutes. Uh, what else can we talk about? How how have y'all been doing? Are you ready for Christmas? Is everything done? Oh, I know. I I want thumbs up if you're ready to go. Give me some thumbs up. Are you ready to go for Christmas? Have you got all your shopping done? I want frowny faces if you got some more shopping to do. You, you know, here I am asking for frowny faces. If you oh, there's one, two. Come on, I need to see some good ones. Thumbs up, yep. Y'all are funny. Well, let's get this stuff done in this next week. Let's get it done so we can have 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 some relaxed times. You can do it. You I know you can do it. Now, uh, today's a big day. It is a huge day. How many of you read the Ask Fly Lady question this morning? How many of you read it? Give me a smiley face if you read it. Nobody read my Ask Fly Lady question this morning. So you don't know the secret. Today is the 18th anniversary of Fly Lady. December the 7th, 1999 is when we started sending out emails. 18 years. Can you believe that? 18 years. And it is just, uh, I don't know where the time's gone. I have no clue where the time's gone. Because... You don't work a day in your life when you do the one thing you love doing. And I love helping you. And in that email this morning to ask Fly Lady question, you know, last week, 
I was, it was first part of this week. I got an email from somebody who said, you must make all this stuff up. All the testimonies we send out. We send out the test of the habit of the month at noon and then the test of fly at, at eight o'clock at night. That's two testimonials that go out every day. Well, I've got hundreds of thousands of testimonials in my, in my folders, in my computer. And it just broke my heart. You know, you don't call the Southern girl a liar without her getting upset. So I had to calm myself down and we got to learn how to do that. So I had to go get in a bathtub and do some praying for this person to sort of say, you know, they don't have a clue. You know, we've been doing this 18 years. And if I hadn't helped somebody in that 18 years, you know, if I'd have just gotten one testimony, that would have been enough for me. But we get them every day, every single day. And I, 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 the question that was asked in the Ask Fly Lady question was, how can we ever thank you? Well, the way you thank me is you do it with your prayers. You do it when you purchase something from us. You do it when you tell someone else about Fly Lady, about what we're doing. I don't like, you know, I am Fly Lady, but about the system. I don't like to talk in third person. When you share with someone else how this system has helped you, that's how you thank me and the crew. Telling them that it when we let go of our perfectionism, we can change our world. We can change the way we view things when we just release that perfectionism. That perfectionism is what holds us back. It really does. It keeps us from loving ourselves because we've done something wrong. We're not good enough. Well, when we let go of that perfectionism and we start taking care of ourselves, the sky's the limit. I'm, I want you to find the peace that I've found. Yeah, little things get me stressed out when I get 15 boxes that come in in a big crate from the post office. But I have, I've learned to set my timer and pace myself. I don't try to do it all at once. I just take my time and that's being kind to me. You know, the month of December, our habit of the month is all about you taking care of you, giving yourself a manicure, getting your hair cut, setting an appointment. You know, this is the month that you set your appointments for. If you don't have dental appointments for next year, call and get them all set up. You know, take care of yourself. The one thing I need to do this next year is get up the courage to get all the chin hairs zapped. Yep, I hate chin hairs, but I get high, I get hyperventilated and all that stuff when I have to go have that done. I don't I don't do it well, but I need to do that again. And but you have to let them grow out. Now that's I, I'm telling you all my deep dark secrets. Anyway, I love all y'all. It's, you've given me my life's mission. And I've tried to set things up so that if I'm not here tomorrow, things will keep going. You got a lot of videos to watch and because I've been pretty bossy over the years. I've got a lot of audio to watch. You, you can do this. You can do this. Love yourself enough to be kind to yourself. I mean, that's how I got organized. I made two New Year's resolutions. Two. One was to get organized. And then when I started trying to figure out how to do that, I realized I was beating myself up. Beating myself up. And then I made another New Year's resolutions, resolution, and that was... To be kind to me through the process. Just to be kind to me because I deserve to have a house that blesses me. That somebody could walk in the door and I not be 
upset about it. Not upset with me because the house was messy. Now it's not messy right now, but I pulled a bunch of stuff out looking for my, uh, that I need to put back. Don't pull out more than you can put back in one hour. It only take me 10 minutes to put everything back. I want you to find this piece. And it's not just this time of year. It's all year long. It's all year long. You can do it. I did it. I got organized. But if you're holding on to clutter, it's going to be harder. You're making it harder on yourself when you hold on to clutter. You got to get rid of stuff. Now, right now, in, in two and a half weeks, Christmas is going to be here. The kids are going to have lots of lots of um, presents from a lot of people. And you got to get rid of stuff before you can put that stuff away. Now, one, one way, Laura used to do it when her kids were little, they would have to declutter one thing out of the room before they put one thing in their room. And she had them write thank you notes for that item before they could put it away. So things stayed under the tree until they systematically got rid of one thing and put one thing away. We can get rid of a lot of stuff right now to make room in our children's rooms. So, yeah, I told you about that lady that said we... We write all the testimonials. Well, first off, we couldn't write all the testimonials because they come in in lots of different languages. But I did catch my assistant today at writing a testimonial. My son, we have this Slack page that we post testimonials in to get my attention so that I don't miss them because I get you know, 10,000 emails a day on my computer. So I got people all over reading stuff. And they, when they see a good testimonial, they put it in our testimonial folder. Well, today I caught my assistant writing a testimonial, but it was a really good testimonial. And she is the queen of vacuum cleaners. This woman loves vacuum cleaners better than anybody. In fact, for Christmas, I know I can count on three or four vacuum cleaners I have given her over the years. Two of them were orgs. One was a little black and decker. And I, I don't know. She's had a lot of vacuum cleaners. So today, Justin posted in our testimonial Slack page this wonderful testimonial. And I have them put their email address with it. And I know Michelle's Yahoo email address. So he had posted this email address underneath it. And it wasn't... It wasn't really named, so I have to read it to you. You all know we got the new carpet sweeper. And we finally got another shipment of them, and she got to have one of them. They sent her home with one to try out. She, she says, Dear Fly Lady, I used the new carpet sweeper yesterday, and I am beyond impressed. For her to be impressed with a vacuum cleaner, it's just unheard of. She says, Dear Hubby is behind in vacuuming. So I thought I would just use the carpet sweeper in the middle areas. I would send you a photo of what it collected, but it was too embarrassing. All, the, all of that dog and cat hair is gone. When Hubby saw the results, he said, I guess we don't need the auric anymore. She says, I won't go that far, laughing out loud, but it does look like I just vacuumed. Messy M. And then he had posted her email address underneath, and I said, well, Michelle sent that. And I probably won't send it out to everybody without a disclaimer, but she loves vacuum cleaners. She loves them better than anything. And for this carpet sweeper to pass her inspection, that says a lot to me. Because I know her better than anybody. <laughs> so, it, that's just really cute. But it was funny that we got the lady who's saying that we make up all these testimonials. Well, only if we, we don't make them up. But this was a good one that was made up by one of our people. And you know, it all has to pass the fly lady 
inspection, any tool we have has to work or we're not going to sell it because if we don't like it, I mean, I could show you worn out rubber scrubbers that I have. And right now we have a new coupon code because I just couldn't bear for y'all to go through Christmas without saving 15%. It's just, as soon as one went off, I made them turn another one on. So we got Joy 15, saves you 15%. We've got um, a rubber scrubber BOGO going on. A rubber swisher BOGO going on. We got a BOGO Bonanza and a silver rag BOGO going on. So that's three BOGOs. Plus we have the water bottle at ten ninety five, and we've gotten in a shipment of feather dusters and another shipment of the of the little carpet sweeper. Somebody wanted to know what we had for hard floor, hardwood floors. Well, we've got our mop and and our rubber sweeper that's for hardwood floors, but it still picks up. I like the way it does. Get this stuff ordered because we, the last day to order from us was on December the 19th, the very last day, because we will fill those orders on the 20th and then everybody's going to go home and celebrate for the next week and a half because we won't be back in into the office until the day after New Year's Day. So we'll be back in De- De- uh, January 2nd. So if you got to get your calendar ordered, everybody, you got to get the calendar order because we got to get it shipped out to you. Get your calendar order because if you don't, if you're, you don't want to be writing on the wall. I mean, you got to, um, you got to have a calendar for January to start writing down these appointments. And, and, you know, your family's got a busy schedule. There's no sense in just writing it on the wall or on the back of the calendar. Get it ordered now. So you, you've had five months. You've had five months of grace period. And now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. You've got today's the 7th. You've got until the 19th. you got 12 days. We're getting into the 12 days of Christmas. 12 days. And, you know, let's get, get those calendars ordered because... You're making it hard on yourself. You don't want to make it hard on yourself. That's why I don't like to run out of anything in my kitchen because I don't want to make it hard on me to cook dinner. I actually bought a backup bag of dried button mushrooms. They're dried. I got dried apples. I got dried cherries. So I've got things to cook with. I made a recipe the other day. I had fresh mushrooms, but now I've got backup mushrooms. I've got backup sour cream in a canister. I just add water to. I've got you know backup milk. It's powdered milk. And if you haven't made my cafe mocha recipe, you're gonna love this stuff. It, it's a really easy to do recipe, and it calls for Nestle's Quick. Taster's Choice, um, Taster's Choice Instant Coffee, and Carnation Powdered Milk. And here's the recipe. I use the can of coffee, the can of coffee as my measuring cup. And it, it's all based on that can of coffee. But if you want measures, if you want to measure, use one cup of, of coffee. Two cups of Nestle's Quick. And three cups of powdered sugar. Not not powdered sugar. Powdered milk. Excuse that. Powdered milk. That would be so sweet. You make icing with that. Chocolate coffee icing with powdered sugar. <laughs> make Put the powdered milk in it. And then you have like a quarter cup to put in your hot water. And you've got cafe milk. I'm going to go make me some right now. Since I get through with this. Because... I'd like something warm and wonderful because it's cold outside. I might even build a fire. I got some boxes to burn, so that would be my kindling. You know, it's all about pacing yourself, being kind to yourself. And when the new year gets here, we're going to have 25,000 
Oh, how do I buy dried mushrooms on Amazon? It was a two pound bag that was like 20 bucks. And I got enough mushrooms to make for the next year if I need them. And you just put hot water in them and they rehydrate and you can use them in anything. So back to the holidays. January, we're going to have 10 or 25,000 people join. 25,000 people will join because people want to get organized. We're going to go back to basics. Shining our sink. You know, ending every night with your sink shining starts you out uh, uh, with, you know, you're not behind the eight ball when you go in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to start baking cookies. I love to bake cookies. I got stuff to make chocolate chip cookies. I want to make some oatmeal cookies. I want to make some gingerbread cookies. Let's do, let's be kind to ourselves. Let's clean up after ourselves. That's a one, that's probably an essay I'm going to write tonight or find one in my archives. Yesterday while I was sewing, the one thing I made sure to do was to pick up after myself. If I got the sewing machine out, I put it back where it belonged. I got the ironing board out to iron her dress and to get all the seams fixed right. And I I put things away. I picked up the threads off the floor with my little carpet sweeper. Everything I did, I didn't leave a mess for me to look at for three days. I cleaned up after myself. You can do this. We just have, and, and I learned this many years ago when I was a county commissioner. I became a county commissioner in 1999. I, I took... I, I took office, I think, on January the 23rd or something like that. And that's the year I made that New Year's resolution in January of 1999. And I knew I was going to have to get my house in order to be able to be a county commissioner. And, you know, I didn't have a wife. I have a husband, but he doesn't really care about how the house looks. I care about how the house looks. Uh, he... I have a cat looking at me. She's over there watching me, watching everything I'm doing. She doesn't like me, by the way. She doesn't like me. It's the only critter that doesn't like me. But she loves Robert. She doesn't like me because I sprayed her with a water bottle one time when she jumped up on my kitchen counter. She doesn't jump up on my kitchen counter either, but she doesn't get in my lap either. She's not a happy... She really wants in here, I think. But... <sighs> I'm sorry, I got sidetracked with all that, but we're going to get organized in January. Tell your friends we're going to get started in January. Janu December 26th, we'll start our holiday cleanup missions, and we will end them on the 6th of January on Epiphany. So let's, let's take our time getting things put away in an organized fashion, not just thrown together and pulling everything off and throw it in the box. Think about making it easier on yourself next year. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to take the lights off the tree. It's the last thing that comes off the tree. And I'm going to wrap them around a piece of cardboard. So they're, they're not a tangled up mess. Are you listening to me? And then I'm going to put them in my little containers. That I have four different levels all my ornaments I sorted through all my ornaments this year and put them in the containers before I even started putting them on the tree and I got rid of the ones I don't lo love if I don't love it it's not going on my tree please make it easy on yourself put things up when you finish with them take your time don't get in a hurry don't get in a hurry because when we're in a hurry, <coughs> that's when our kitchen explodes. Clean up after yourself, after you fix everything. I mean, here's what happens. You make sugar cookie dough. Oh, that's another cookie I want to make. Sugar cookies, gingerbread cookies, um, oatmeal cookies, and Robert's going to make the ginger sparkle cookies. I'm going to make five different cookies. And I got all the flour and everything in here. So cookies 
have to be cut out, but they have to be refrigerated before you can do that. Clean up after yourself. Get everything cleaned up. Start with an empty dishwasher and it's going to be a piece of cake to clean up after yourself. Right now, I've, I've set up a gift wrapping station in my kitchen because it's better for me to stand than to sit to wrap things. So I'm going to I have things lined up on the kitchen, on the dining table, and I've got my paper and everything laid out, ready to go for me to wrap stuff, one little thing at a time. Don't get in a hurry. Don't do it. It's not worth it to the stress level. I don't want you stressed out. Stress kills us. That's why we don't have many people join in the month of December because they're so stressed out they can't think about doing one more thing. You know, that's piling on one more thing. But we can help you. We'll be here come January. People unsubscribe. We got it fixed now where you can subscribe easily. It's go to our homepage and there's a join button at the top. You can jump back in. We don't do everything on Facebook. People complain about the, you know, the four, the five, six, seven emails you get a day from us. Well, stop complaining because digital clutter is not clutter. It doesn't take up space. It doesn't take, you know, it's not in your way. And when people complain they can't handle five or six emails a day, emails a day, they should try to get 10,000 a day. I do it all with filters, all with filters. So please don't complain about getting all our emails. We used to send out when we first started, I had a reminder every hour for you. Yeah, and it went out an email because there wasn't a Facebook, there wasn't a Twitter, there wasn't um, Gmail, there wasn't any of that. Right now, our messenger, we sent out these reminders in email. And it was 25 emails a day. So we cut that down and we started sending out about 15 a day. And that went for several years. And now we send out seven at the most a day. Seven, seven. That's half of what we were sending this time last year. Half. And we still get complaints because what we do is behavior modification. I want to be in your face. And if you get, you know, if you get your email on your iWatch, um, I didn't know if I'd like it or not, but I really do like it because I can answer the phone on it. If I'm away from my phone and in the kitchen, I can just hit a button and start talking to Justin. He can't believe I can talk, talk to him on my watch. Have it come to your phone. Have your messages come to your phone so that even the subject line can help you and you can just read it right quick. It doesn't take two minutes to read an email. I gotta get on my soapbox here. It's the behavior modification aspect of this email that changes everything in your life. The, the Fly Lady Messenger app is good too. Uh, I hardly ever promote it, but the Fly Lady Messenger app, you can get it. You have to go to the page on our website and get signed up, and then you get to download the app. It's great. I forgot to tell you. And then we have an app called Fly Lady Plus that's free, but the Fly Lady Messenger app you have to pay for because Michael spent a long time building it. And <clears throat> go to our website and click on the page. There's an ad on the right-hand side that uh, is about the Fly Lady Messenger app, and you get signed up. All the directions are there on how to do it. We've had a lot of people sign up for it, and they love it. Well, next week, I'll show you around the house. We'll do another reveal of all our Christmas decorations. Maybe I'll ha have some snow on the ground, and it'll look real pretty. It's... It's a wonderful time of year, but don't get stressed out about things. Pace yourself and have a good time doing it. You can do this. I did it. You can do it too. The app isn't on an Android phone. I'm sorry, but we haven't gotten around to doing that. 
please take care of yourself. Do something good for you every day. Sit down and have a cup of something warm and wonderful. I'm going to go make me some cafe mocha right now. Enjoy this time because these children are going to be grown before you know it. My son and daughter-in-law are looking at that right now. We got a 15-year-old in the family who just got his driver's permit. And one of his Christmas presents is I get to take him driving. No, he gets to take me and I get to ride with him. It'll be fun and it'll be good. It'll be all good. And Robert can teach him to drive in the mountains. And I'm going to teach him to drive. I don't know where yet. <laughs> but we will, we will do some fun stuff. Have a good time, y'all. I love you all. Thanks for all your well wishes for our anniversary. And, you know, 18 years is nothing. It's just nothing. And I was 43 before I figured out what I wanted to be when I grew up. 43. Time flies when you're having fun. One time I got a sweatshirt that had that on there. And I think it was God telling me that flying was the way to go. Time flies when you're having fun. I love you all. I'll see you next week for a big reveal on all my Christmas decorations. And have fun with the rest of the week. Have fun. I love you. See you later.